I'm Annika, and welcome back to Wildcat Books. This is my friend Livy. Livy and I love to go on walks together. A couple days ago, I decided that it would be really funny if I played a trick on her. So I ran up ahead of her while she wasn't looking, and I went behind a building so that she couldn't see me. I thought it was really funny. But the next day, she did the same thing to me. She ran up ahead, hid behind a building, and I couldn't see her. And you know what? I felt so sad. I thought she had left, and I felt all alone. Have you ever done something to one of your friends that you thought was really funny, but once it happened back to you, you decided, that's not so funny anymore? Well, today in our book, Triangle, we learn about Triangle, who plays a funny trick on his friend Square. Let's see what happens. This is Triangle by Mac Barnett and John Glasson. This is Triangle. This is Triangle's house. This is Triangle in his house. And that is Triangle's door. One day, Triangle walked out his door and away from his house. He was going to play a sneaky trick on Square. He walked past small triangles and medium triangles and big triangles. He walked past shapes that weren't triangles anymore. They were shapes with no names. He walked until he got to a place where there were squares. Still thinking of his sneaky trick, he walked past big squares and medium squares and small squares until he got to Square's house. Now, said Triangle, I will play my sneaky trick. Triangle walked up to Square's door and said, Hiss, just like a snake. Square was afraid of snakes. Oh me, oh my, said Square. Go away, you snake, leave my door. Hiss, said Triangle. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Oh dear, 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 said Square. How many snakes are out there? Ten? Ten million? Go away, snakes. Triangle could not hiss anymore. He was laughing too hard. Triangle, said Square. Is that you? Yes, said Triangle. I know you are afraid of snakes. I have played a sneaky trick on you. Square ran after Triangle, past small squares and medium squares and big squares. He ran past the shapes with no names, past the big triangles and medium triangles and small triangles, up to Triangle's house and right through the door. Almost. You are stuck! Triangle laughed and laughed. Then he stopped. His house was all dark. Triangle was afraid of the dark. It's too dark, said Triangle. You're blocking my light. Go away, you block. Leave my door. Hmm. I wonder what Triangle's feeling right now. Do you think Square will leave his door? Do you think Square me meant to make Triangle feel this way? Well, you'll have to check it out in the library.